guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this pink makeup look for prom. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the Juvia's Place Festival palette first to start off. And I'm taking this hot pink shade and placing that right on my crease. And I'm going to go ahead and take this pretty high up because I wanted to make this look super smoky. So I'm making sure to just kind of make sure the color is really packed on there and also kind of blend out the edges just a little bit. Now I'm going into this yellow shade from the same palette called Oro, and it's like a softer yellow shade, almost like a mustard type of color, but I'm just going to be using this shade to blend out the edges of that pink color that I just used. And if you feel like you're losing some intensity from the hot pink shade, then you can just go back in with that color as well and just add a little bit more to kind of re-intensify it. All the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using are from Juvia's Place. Now I'm going into the shade Zora from the Saharan 2 palette and I'm also placing this onto the crease. I feel like it has like this pinker type of undertone to it so I'm using it as kind of like a base for the next eyeshadow that I'm using. Next I'm using Jezebel from the Nubian 2 palette and this is the darkest color I'm going to be using for this look so I'm kind of keeping it tighter in the socket and of course too you want to make sure you're blending out all the edges of your eyeshadow colors for your crease so I'm going back in with my previous brush just to make sure Jezebel is well blended. Before I put on my lid shade, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer from Makeup Revolution, the same concealer that I use to prime my eyes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this onto the lid. And this is just gonna give the, the eyeshadow that I apply next something to kind of stick onto. And it's also gonna show up a little bit more pigmented because it has like that extra reinforcement. But I'm making sure to go back in with Jezebel and blend out the edges of the concealer because I do want this to be like more of a diffused look. So I'm just making sure to go back in with that color as well. So the edges of the concealer aren't like really sharp. So now I'm going into Fazo from the Magic palette from Juvia's Place and I'm applying this onto the lid using a flat shader brush. Because glitter just makes everything better. So we're just going to add some pigment here from Peaches and Cream Makeup. And this is the shade Pixie. And I'm going to be using my NYX Glitter Primer to uh, give the pigment something to kind of stick onto. I'm going to go back in with Sora and Jezebel just to diffuse the edges so they're not so harsh. I'm also going to be taking that color Jezebel and applying it onto the lash line, kind of just on the outer corner though, just to kind of give it like that smokier type of look on the lash line as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start applying my mascara and false eyelashes. The mascara that I'm using is from Lorac and I'm also going to be using the lashes Go Big Girl Go Home from Bold Face Makeup. These are some of my favorite lashes. They're super fluffy and they look really, really good with a lot of different makeup looks because it's not like too flared out at the edges and they're inexpensive as well, so which is always a plus. I'm going to go ahead and move on to skin now. I want my skin to kind of be more kind of glowy. So I'm using the CoverGirl Glow Lotion and this is the lighter shade of the two and I'm just going to apply that as like kind of like to moisturize my skin. Then I'm going in with the OPV Beauty Liquid Illuminator and this one is the darkest gold shade. I'm gonna look like a little bit like a Tin Man, so don't judge me. <laughs> but I'm just gonna be applying this all over my skin before I place my foundation on just to kind of give it like that inner glow type of look. And I'm just gonna make sure to buff it in using a stippling brush.
Then um, for foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 370. I was a little nervous about this foundation at first because when I first put it on, it looked really, really light. <laughs> but I feel like it's partially because of the illuminator that I put on previously. And it also does oxidize. So it does show up a little bit darker than when you first initially ap apply it. So just in case you guys were wondering about the foundation shade and also for future reference, if you haven't bought the foundation yet and you're interested in it, if you are in store trying it just give it a couple of seconds to kind of dry before you like decide which color you're gonna get for my concealer today I'm using one of my faves this is the ColourPop no filter concealer and I'm using two colors they did come out with some new shades so I'm just finishing these up before I purchase the new shade that came in between these two colors but I'm gonna go ahead and place the names of these concealers in the description box because they did also change the names I absolutely love this concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and apply both of those colors underneath my eyes and all the typical places I like to highlight and yeah, I'm gonna blend it in with a brush, then just go over it using my Makeup Addiction sponge. And to set that, I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Translucent Powder. This is my first time using this powder and it is a little bit more matte than I anticipated. I don't mind because I have more oily skin, so my skin can kind of handle it. But if you are on the drier side, just make sure that you really moisturize your skin and maybe use like a more moisturizing primer. But I feel like it looked really, really nice underneath the eyes. It didn't dry me out too much because I do have drier under eyes. So I was a little bit nervous about that once I kind of felt the texture, but it wasn't too dry too matte to the point where it looks like really kind of cakey underneath my eyes which I appreciate but yeah I really like this powder a lot and it smells so good which is also really fun to experience when you're applying the powder but yes this is a really nice powder and it's definitely a new favorite of mine of course we're gonna bronze and contour using the black radiance true complexion palette in light to medium once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and start finishing up the eyes I'm going in with the same colors that I use on the crease so the hot pink shadow from the festival palette the um, shade Jezebel from the Nubian 2 palette as well as Oro which is that yellow color from the festival palette as well and those are colors that I'm just gonna use to smoke out the lower lash line I'm also using a little bit of the Peaches Pigment in Pixie on the lower lash line as well to kind of give like that glow there too. And to finish off, I'm just going to go ahead and use some mascara to coat my lower lashes. For my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Pomade, and this one is in the shade Ebony. I usually switch between Ebony and Dark Brown, just kind of depending on how dark I want my brows to be. I kind of messed up on the edges of my brows, so I kind of like took the, the little brush strokes a little too far, so I'm just using my little concealer brush just to clean it up. So that's why it's a little bit more kind of like sculpted looking today. Of course, since this is a prom makeup look, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The spray is amazing if you want your makeup to just like stay in place like for long periods of time. I'm just gonna apply that and have my highlighter ready right after. I'm using the Jackie Aina and Artist Couture Highlighter in the Peach, and I'm using that to highlight my cheekbones, forehead, inner corners, nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. This is one of my favorite highlights, so I use this highlighter a lot. It's so pretty. It's just like that, this perfect like golden peach color. If you go overboard with highlighter it doesn't even matter anymore because Rihanna said in her makeup tutorial that she does it too so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start working on lips. And to start off my lips, I'm using one of my favorite lip pencils right now from Jouer. This is their retractable lip liner in the shade Espresso. It's just a perfect like brown lip liner.
I'm also gonna be using the Too Faced Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cool Girl. So I'm just applying that onto my bottom lip, pressing my lips together and just blending that in with the lip liner using my finger. Of course, we have to go with the gloss. So I picked up this J-Cat Beauty Lip Tonics Lip Topper in the shade Pebbles BFF. I see Mitchell on Instagram using this lip topper all the time. And of course, because he's using it, I have to use it because he's just like freaking amazing. And anything that he uses is probably amazing too. So. <laughs> I went ahead and picked it up and it's absolutely stunning. I love this lip topper so much and I'm probably going to be getting more colors. So but yeah, that's pretty much the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Love you.